as someone who cares about the direction forward for humanity and principles of justice and equal opportunity, I have something to say on repar reparations, at least to consider. One opportunity to bring this to the forefront is to ask if presidential and congressional candidates such as Andrew Yang, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Pete Buttigieg, Tulsi Gabbard, and the rest of the gang supports reparations for American descendants of slaves, ADOS. In other words, whether or not you want to argue about who gets justice in this world or making amends or at least starting to for past injustices that clearly affect equal opportunity and just doing the right thing, I think obviously morally it would be correct to make this happen. I am also going to show it is feasible and a win-win-win, even though that that's not necessarily a moral argument either, but it is the truth. And whoever champions this not only champions truth, but also justice. Reparations, like universal basic income, might across come across, excuse me, initially far-fetched, but after thinking harder in the guts feels like common sense. It's also a matter of it being distributed via trickle up or down, being dispersed to organizations or individuals. And so, like, meaning does every individual get it, or is it just going to be given to quote-unquote leaders, and then they're going to invest it in areas of, like, let's say, black communities instead of directly to the people? So I would say it should definitely go directly to the people, just like UBI does. And so I've done the math. Yep, and here it is. There's approximately 35 million, and I think this is a high number, American descendants of slaves. And if you were to take 40 acres and a mule in today's dollars, an average across the entire United States, that's approximately, and again, this all approximately $125,000. But just to give you a figure here of something to work with, and like I said, something to consider, that would be about $4,375,000,000,000. I'm pretty sure that's less than the cost of the Iraq war, which... You know, what did we get out of that? And it'd be spent back into the economy. Now, I know that's not the moral arguments there, but it is the truth. Also, a segment of the U.S. population will know that we are all in it together and we respect, acknowledge, and empathize with their truth and want to do what's right to move forward, to heal together. Not that this makes up for it, however, it's long overdue and will set things in a just course. How it should be distributed, in my humble opinion, like universal basic income via the individual, and probably half now, which would be $62,500 each, and in another, and then the another, in 14 years, the other half. $62,500, so people will spend it possibly even wiser the second time. Now, I know a lot of people will spend it wise all at once the first time, but some people might not. So if you wait 14 years, most likely that will happen. And then so half now would be $2,187,500,000,000, and then, of course, the second half would be the same amounts. So, you know, if you have any ideas, leave that in the comment, but I think it would be smart um, for presidential candidates. Uh, you know, the one that I could see most likely championing this would be Andrew Yang or possibly Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Tulsi Gabbard. I don't see anyone else really doing that. Cory Booker, maybe. I don't know. Trump, some third-party candidate. Definitely... Um, maybe congressional candidates and that would be a you know a new um, litmus test that maybe we could ask congressional candidates do you support reparations do you support universal basic income do you support rank choice voting do you support
Congress's authority to wage war and um, in you know whatever other issue, transparency in government and accountability. And so again, whoever champions this not only champions truth, but also justice.